Hello, grade six. Um, we are going to start a new unit in our Jump Math book today, unit 12. For the first couple of slides, I'd just like you to follow along with me, and then I will have you grab your Jump Math book and try a few questions with me. This lesson is called Unknown Quantities, and it may be your first try with algebra. I know that sounds scary, but it's easier than you think, and I think you will actually really love it. So here we go. All right, so if we all saw this first equation, 2 plus 1 equals 3, we would say that that is pretty simple math. We could rearrange this equation with an unknown quantity. Unknown quantities is a fancy way of saying a fill in the blank. And in math, fill in the blank questions are sometimes shown with letters. In this case, we have an x. 2 plus x equals 3. Another way of saying this is 2 plus something, a fill in the blank, equals 3. All of you know that 2 plus 1 equals 3. So that means if we look back at this question, x is equal to 1 because 2 plus 1 equals 3. X is a common letter used in algebra. So is Y and so is Z, but we could use the letter M, we could use Q, we could use A. We can use any letter to represent a fill in the blank. An equal sign simply means that both sides whoops, of our equation are equal. That means that 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. You can think of it like a scale. If we have 4 and 1 on one side and 5 on the other, our scale will be balanced. In the second example, we have an unknown quantity. We have the letter x, and we know that x plus 2, we can see on this side of the scale, will balance to equal 7. So this x quantity here looks like a mystery box. So what could be inside this mystery box? Well, let's think. These two circles would cancel with two of these, which means that that box is equal to 5. So our mystery quantity inside our mystery box is 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7. There, you have done algebra. Now I would like you to grab your Jump 6.2 book and turn to page 70. Today we are going to do page 70, 71, and 72. I know it looks like a lot, but as we work through, I will cross out some questions and I think it will go faster than you think. So please follow along. If you don't follow along, you'll end up doing all of the questions and I promise I will ask you to cross some of those questions out. All right, on page 70, part A of question one is done for us. It says the total number, number pardon me, of apples, if we count them, we'll see there are eight apples. And now we see the equal sign is equal to 3 plus a number of apples in this mystery box. They have determined that 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Let's try B together. All right, so we can see the equal sign is here. On one side of the equal sign, we have 5 apples. On the other side, we have two plus a mystery box. How many apples belong in that mystery box to equal five apples on the other side? That's right, two plus three equals five. 
our mystery or unknown quantity is 3. I would like you to try C and D on your own. Question 2 is very similar. Let's look at A together. All right, the equal sign is, whoops, is here. On this side of the equation, we have 5, and we know we have 3 apples. We don't know how many apples are inside this mystery box. Well, if you don't know right away, let's go ahead and cross out 3 apples on this side. How many are needed to make that equation equal? That's right, 2 apples are needed. So our unknown quantity where our mystery box is equal to 2. I would like you to try B and C. You may cross out D and continue to question 3. Question 3 says, write an equation for the situation. Use a box for the unknown quantity. All right, so remember, an equation is just like a math sentence or a math statement. Let's read A. There are nine apples all together. Five are outside of a box. All right, I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to draw five apples outside of a box. How many are inside? Well, if five are outside, then we have six, seven, eight, nine. That means that there are one, two, three, four apples inside the box. So our equation is 9 equals 5 plus 4. I would like you to try B, C, and D. All right, moving on to page 71. These instructions are a little bit different, so make sure you read them carefully. Question 4 says, Tim took some apples from a box. Show how many apples were in the box originally. All right, so the box is the box of apples before Tim removed or took any away. Then we um, find out how many were left. All right, so if Tim took three away, let's draw the three that he took away. All right, so I'm going to put a little mark just to know that those three were taken away. Even after those three were taken away, Tim still had five apples. So we need to draw five more. That means that Tim started with eight apples. He took away three apples, and now he is left with five. I would like you to try B. C and D. For B, remember your mystery box is first minus two apples equals four. So what number minus two will equal four? I would like you to try 5A and 5B by yourself. Let's take a look at question six. It says, find the number that makes the equation true and write it in the box. All right, let's look at 6a. Something in that mystery box plus 4 equals 7. Hmm, I think 3 plus 4 equals 7. If you're stuck, remember you can tackle this in reverse. If you know that you wind up with 7, if you take away 4, that will tell you what you need to add to 4 to get to 7. So 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. Let's try B together as well. Something plus 3 equals 6. What can we add to 3 to get to 6? That's right. Three plus three equals six. I would like you to cross off the last column, C, F, I, L, and O, 
I think the first two columns will give you enough practice. All right, you can go ahead and cross out the bonus question. You may also cross out question seven. All right, question eight has a reminder before it. Let's read through that together. Reminder, a variable is a letter or symbol, such as W, T, or H, that represents a number. To solve an equation, find a number for the variable that makes the equation true. All right, there's a lot of vocabulary there, and it may sound confusing to you, but don't be discouraged. Let's try the first few together. Let's look at the example that's done for us. 8a, x plus 2 equals 7. All right, x is just a variable. That means it's the number that we don't know. So it's just like our mystery box. So x plus 2 equals 7. What plus 2 equals 7? It's 5. 5 plus 2 equals 7. So x is equal to 7. That's just like saying our mystery box is equal to 5. Let's try b together. x, again, just like our mystery box, x plus 6 equals 8. All right, 6 plus something equals 8. Let me see. 6, I'll count on my fingers, 7, 8. We need two more. Therefore, our mystery box, or x, is equal to 2. Again, go ahead and cross out that final column. You will have enough practice if you do the first two columns. Please note that different letters are used. So you'll see x, capital H, N, X, T, capital L, capital W, capital T. Whatever the letter is, it's just holding the spot of the missing number. It's just like our mystery box. Question nine is a bonus question. If you feel like you um, are rocking this and you would like a little extra challenge, please try question nine. Question 10 is also a bonus question. When you have finished these three pages, please take a careful picture of each page and upload it to the Seesaw activity. Have fun!